Good evening. You're watching ABC News South Australia. I'm Jessica Harmson. The Premier has warned nervous colleagues he's not going anywhere, despite leading Labor to a devastating slump in the polls. Mike Rann may be the nation's longest-serving Premier, but he's also the least popular, according to News Poll. He says tough decisions are to blame for the fall. Mike Rann has dismissed dismal performances in recent polls, but there's no hiding from this one. You cannot expect to be popular when you take tough decisions that are the right decisions. The first news poll since the election shows Labor's support plunging below 30%, a drop of eight points. The votes aren't going to the Liberals, but to the Greens instead. Why would I want to put the spotlight on us when the government is so spectacularly imploding upon itself? And Isabel Redmond's small target strategy is working for now. If an election were held today, the Liberals would win comfortably. You're obsessed by the next election, the opposition obsessed by the last election. We're obsessed by running a good government. Polls will go up and down. We're just getting on with the job of uh, good government. Except for Mr Rand, the polls are heading in one direction only, and that's south. His net satisfaction is now deeply in the red and lower than that of Christina Keneally, the latest in a line of New South Wales premiers heading for political oblivion. What does that tell you though if you look at what happened in New South Wales? And there's a veiled warning to nervous colleagues. The party's recent experience with leadership change has been fraught. I'm not the kind of wuss that would walk away from a fight, let alone walk away from my duty. The recent reshuffle in Labor's ranks appears to have given the party little if any bounce. The Premier says he's confident he won't be pushed from his job but that's what Kevin Foley said. I'm not going to comment on polls. It's not the role of a, uh, uh, a mere cabinet minister. For now, at least, the troops are holding the line. The Premier has my full support. Thank you. Three years of polls to come, and let's just see how we go. Let's not get, let's not get, let's not get too excited. With results like this, there's very little to be excited about. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.